five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engines. During the Apollo 11 mission, my brother was at launch control. And I'd already been working there for almost 10 years. Getting to work in the firing room was pretty exciting. The firing room is where the managers and the test conductors and engineers and technicians are gathered. They're close to 500 people. They're in one room together and they're literally locked in there, in that room and focused on completing the mission, the discovery of the Van Allen belt, that very much intrigued me. And my brain was like, the amount of learning that's out there is gonna be enormous. And I'm, I wanna be in on it. I wanna be part of it. That was where I was coming from. So I was an I was a, a inadvertent trailblazer because that was something I saw I wanted to do. And it didn't occur to me when I first applied to be an engineer's aide that the ad for the job said student. It didn't say boy. And I was a good student. I made A's and I love math and science. I was used to being the only woman in the room. The number one thing is do your job, get your work done, be highly competent. There's a lot of progress we can continue to make. And I, I hope that young women will not be afraid. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm an ordinary woman and I just happen to like solving problems, but you know, start with puzzles and then do the, the math and then learn equations and then quadratic equations and calculus and just learn to do it and you, you'd be surprised at where you can go and how much fun. I, I look back on my career and I think, I never had a dull day at work. I hope we don't see pictures anymore with the lone woman in a sea of men. I'm hoping that pictures now show lots of women working in these kind of technical situations.